Ugh, I hope they wake up soon. I'm so disappointed that they tried to run away, and I... I hate the idea of having to punish them, but... I have to ask them why they tried to escape. It's getting kind of annoying waiting so long. Mm hmm? Oh, there you are, darling. Did you have a nice nap? Hey, hey, calm down. I'm not mad at you. Well, I am a bit mad, actually, but I promise I'm not going to hurt you. I know you tried running away and I said you'd really regret it, but I don't believe in corporal punishment. I don't want to hurt you, and honestly, if I tried, I probably wouldn't be able to. I just want to ask you why you did try running away. You can tell me, silly. I'm not going to hurt you. Please, just tell me. You... you wanted to go home? That's silly, you are home. Oh, you mean your old home. No, I think I get it. I know, change is a bit rough. You suddenly woke up here one day and I haven't let you leave? I was starting to trust you quite a bit, but now the trust has been lost due to you running away. Well, yeah, I told you on day one, don't even think of trying to escape. I would look for you and I would find you. It doesn't matter where you run off to, I'd find you regardless and, well, clearly I found you, didn't I? It's because you're so special to me. No, 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 there, there. There's no need to cry, darling. I promise you I'm not going to do anything too cruel to you. Yeah, I'm certainly upset that you tried to run. I mean, I do a lot for you here. I feed you, take care of you, I make sure you're clean and stuff. You don't really have to do anything, so I don't understand why you'd want to leave. Leave me. I'm not going to untie you for a while. You ran away, so obviously I can't trust that you won't try again soon, so you're going to stay here just like this for a while. I know, it sounds scary and upsetting, but this is your punishment. You need to know that you're not supposed to run away. It's a pointless effort anyways, since like I said, I'll, I'll find you regardless. I always knew how shy you were, so nervous, so shy, it was quite endearing. I mean, I just had to have you. I knew you would be a bit frightened when you ended up here, but I figured I could gain your trust in due time. Oh, shh, here. Shh, here. I'll hug you. You know, I really shouldn't be giving you affection since you were naughty and trying to leave me, but I can't resist the urge. It's too powerful. <laughs> I can't let you go, silly. Don't even ask. You're mine forever, and frankly, the sooner you accept that, the better for the both of us. You see, you might think I'm crazy, but I can assure you that I'm not crazy. I'm not scary. I'm not mean to you. There's absolutely no need to be afraid or want to leave. You'll be okay here. I promised I'd take really good care of you, and I'm a person of my word. So don't you worry, darling. You're safe. You're safe with me. What is your punishment? Well, nothing physical, of course, besides being stuck here. 
I'm not going to listen to anything until your skin starts turning blue or purple. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Uh, well, I know it might be a bit uncomfortable, but you leaving me was a bit uncomfortable. Actually, that's an understatement. You broke my heart. But this is all because you tried to run from me. I hope it doesn't hurt you. I never wanted to hurt you. I'd hate the idea for it to hurt you, even if you were disobeying me. Hey. It's okay. Even if you were naughty, I'd still love you. I do still love you. I'll still treat you well, but... I will treat you much better once you start to stay with me willingly. Then you'll be able to do whatever you want to do. Roam our home, make me food, make yourself food, do anything with me. It'll be a lot of fun. But for now, I do have some food for you. You know what to do, darling. Ah, uh, here we go. That's good. You're being smart, obeying me to eat. I definitely don't want to have to force feed you. You don't like the food? Well, at least you ate it willingly. That's another thing. I'm not going to cook your favorite foods for a while, since you tried to run away. Yeah, I know it seems harsh, but you should have thought about that before trying to leave me. You know, it's really a shame, because I really like to cook your favorite foods. And seeing that you at least enjoy something here, since you don't really want to be here, even though I do so much for you. Well, I suppose you're right. I did sort of take you away from everyone you know and care about, but I did it out of love. I love you more than anything in the whole entire world. I needed you in order to be happy. I watched you for so long, and after I finally gathered the courage to take you, I felt so much better. You're just the most perfect person in existence. I'd do anything for you. Well, I guess I can't do that. So perhaps I can't do anything. Well, more like I can't do everything since I can't let you go. Hmm. Well, like I said in the past, darling, I just love you way too much to let you go. You're mine and only mine. And that's never going to change. Do you understand? Listen, I know you're a bit scared. I like how you're the shy, nervous type. It's so sweet it melts my heart. You blush when I say you're beautiful, or when I kiss you on the cheek or forehead. And sometimes, even when I give you a hug. Here, let me try. That's it, darling. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd blush. You're so cute. Cute, 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 cute. I know, I know, honey. It's all gonna end up okay. You won't want to run away again. You know I love you. I gotta go for a bit, so I'll see you later. Mm. Goodbye, darling. I love you. <laughs>